This is Katherine Hill. She sometimes is called Katie and sometimes Katherine and I'm her mom. And Katie has a little brother, a little sister, and an older sister. Katie was born in Oklahoma and we've also lived in Iowa and we've been here in Montana for seven years. I have a genetic disorder called GNA01 blah 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 which means I can see here and my brain does the same things as you do it just takes me a while to do it this is a device that katie just got last year it's from talk to me technologies and she's named it joy i really enjoy reading playing soccer and dancing this is basically just a, a tablet and it has the correct software on there that helps make it easier for her to program she programs it all herself <laughs> and um, inputs mm -hmm. names and information um, she can use it to do all her homework and schoolwork because she has a movement disorder her movements are kind of shaky unpredictable sometimes um, she goes a little wonky and so she used to do it um, with touching but with this device we use the mouse because she's a little bit more accurate and it's less fatiguing. Okay. This summer at my dad's family reunion we went zip lining, rafting, on a mountain coaster and go-karting. And Katie loves the snow. She also loves to ski really fast with Eagle Mount. They go down the mountain and she gets to steer. And she goes fast, fast, fast. <laughs> she loves it. She's kind of our daredevil. Do you kind of like Katie being a little ambassador sometimes and helping, helping show people how to act so they feel more comfortable? Most people just avoid it because they're so afraid to say the wrong thing. And so we've just learned that you just lean into the uncomfortable feeling <laughs> and you just jump in. And, um, and just as long as your intent is to be kind, then usually that comes across really well. So uh, for Katie, one of her biggest pet peeves is when people baby talk to her. People assume just because sometimes she slobbers a little bit or she's in a wheelchair or she uses a device to speak. Um, that, that she's not smart, but she is just as smart as all the other kids in seventh grade. And um, so she likes it when people just talk to her like a normal 13 year old and um, treat her just like everybody else, right? So um, with space, with people in a wheelchair, we always tell people to, um, the wheelchair is kind of an extension of their body. So if you wouldn't put their hand, your hand on their thigh, you're not gonna put it on their chair without asking first. Um, this is kind of their personal space. So don't try to move it or touch it or do anything to it without asking permission first. So that's kind of a little tidbit that we usually like to share. Well, we joke that she makes a really good friend because she's an excellent listener, <laughs> right? Um, and yeah, she has a great sense of humor. Uh, she loves hearing jokes and, and uh, yeah, she's just a really good friend and very loving and kind likes to give hugs and high fives, right? Now let's do some trivia on becoming friends with kids like me.